This biome is very important because it gives home and food to a lot of species of animals. It is also important because all the plants that are there produce big quantities of oxygen and clean the atmosphere. Without it, the global warming would be worse. One of the abiotic factors from the shrubland biome is the precipitation. That, as it can vary a lot, this can define the height of the grass that grows in the region. And also, there is the factor of the fire, which periodically affects the regions as the fire burns the grass and it avoids from trees or other tower plants to grow. The temperature in the temperate woodlands and shrublands is usually hot and dry in the summer and cool and moist in the winter. The precipitation in this area usually varies from 200 to 1000 milliliters of rain per year. are very abundant in the temperate woodland and shrubland biome. You can find a variety of animals such as the coyote, the bobcat, the mountain lions, which make up the, the predator part of this biome. And you can also find the, the black tailed deer, black -tailed deer and the rattlesnakes and rabbits, which make up the herbivore part of this biome. And the plants are, you cannot find a lot of plants in this biome since it's very dry, but you can find shrubs, you can find oaks and some herbs. This biome can be found in Mexico and you can find it in the southern part of Mexico. The contaminant that is in constant increase lately is CO2. Due to deforestation, animals produce CO2 during respiration and then because there's enough there's not enough trees, trees, the small amount of trees that there is cannot really process the whole amount of CO2 present in the forest. The, there's also other contaminants, but they're in least quantity, like ozone. The woolly spider monkey is a small primate. Historically, these primates have been hunted for sport. The legal harvest of trees and legal mining caused habitat loss, resulting in a decline of population of woolly spider monkey. <laughs>